Welcome to Blythe Road, another Mississauga Mansion neighborhood you may not have known exists. My name is Andrew Sarakman. I'm your local Mississauga Realtor, Luxury Agent. And here today we've got a great tour we're going to show you. We're going to walk the neighborhood, show you all the mansions that they have available, and kind of just show you this little gem here that we have. And right behind me we've got this great stone pillar styled mansion. It's kind of like a Roman style as we can see here. And what's really impressive about this lot is just the length of the driveway. It actually backs up against a river or kind of like ravine style thing. And what I enjoy about this house is it's really grand. It's obviously very expensive, but it's got this overhang on the left that you can see there. And what's unique about that is it's so large. I, I can't imagine what kind of space. Maybe you have the master or, or some kind of living space up there. You have the cars that are able to drive underneath. I mean, it, the stature is just insane. It's just a really cool property and one of many that we're gonna see on Blythe Road today. And here, in my opinion, this is the most unique home on the entire street. What's very interesting about this home is at first glance, not even at first glance, it looks like a giant barrel, but then it's just kind of slapped right in the middle of just a regular looking home. Obviously, it's a very nice home. Obviously, it's a very large home but it's just got this huge barrel structure with glass that's plated throughout and it just looks very unique and interesting and it catches your eye. You know, I can't imagine the amount of ceiling space you have in your general living area. Probably the kitchen is there as well. Maybe it's 30, 35 feet, something like that. Maybe even more. <laughs> looks insane, but these are just some of the homes that you're gonna be seeing here on Blythe Road. So if you guys are ever in the Mississauga area going down Mississauga Road, Take a right on Dalton, take a left on Blythe, and you'll see some of these homes. So here we have another mansion right behind me over on Blythe Road. This is a beautiful stone French Chateau styled mansion. Obviously very expensive as well in this very prestigious neighborhood. The thing about Blythe Road as well is the majority of homes are only on one side of the street and they go just so far back here. It's kind of tough to get a little bit of footage of it, but I mean just the style the you know the prestige the grandness of these homes are awesome and i love kind of the you know roof slope style in there as well with the windows it's just kind of pocketed nicely and everything just flows and over here we have another lovely home over on blythe road right behind me look at this look at these stonework in with the cast iron fence a thing i love about this property is you've got lovely landscaping all over the place. You've got great big trees that kind of makes it feel cozy and warm. And it's kind of a really nice mixed style stone structure. And a thing that appears to be a theme with the neighborhood as well is you've got pillars on a lot of homes on Blythe Road. This shows royalty, prestige, you know, through many generations throughout history, this has kind of been the theme for, you know, these, this status of neighborhood and this status of people who are gonna be owning these homes. So you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this on this neighborhood and throughout. Over here, we have another lovely property with a colonial stone home, cedar shake roof. The style of the roof, I love it. It's very busy, very flashy, and it's not like your normal house. It's got a lot of unique design to it, so obviously the architecture, you know, there was that extra effort put in. I love the fence work as well. You've got the artwork within the fence, kind of like a flowering style, and you've got the lions here as well. The thing I love about this house is they incorporate a lot of blue, which you don't typically see on a lot of homes, and the lot just kind of wraps around beautifully. Something else about this home as well, I mentioned the lion statues here. They also have a lot of like Greek statues in with the home. So these people, they care about that kind of mythological, kind of prestigious feeling, you know, a lot of things that you may see in a museum, you're seeing on their front lawn. So that's just super awesome and lovely to see. Here we have the final house of our tour over on Blythe Road today. It's at the end of the strip. This is another very unique home. And just like the last home and how it had, you know, incorporates of blue, this entire home is blue. It's very large, you know, and it's got the three car garage as well. You know, this is just very beautifully put together. I love the black tie-ins with the windows and the garage and everything as well. So this is just the last home on the strip and you kind of just circle back to the end of the strip. On the other end, we've got a $28 million home listed. And the thing about that home is we would love to show it today from a street view. We might pan a couple shots to it, but it's just so hard to see from the front gates. It's not really worth filming. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of Blythe Road. You learned about another mansion neighborhood that you may not have knew existed in Mississauga. My name's Andrew Sarakman, your local luxury real estate agent, and have a great day.